Hello everybody, welcome to Her Duck and Terrors game number two against a thousand TV goblins. So um I guess the play here is Zara because she's just amazing, isn't she? They, there's no way they can deal with her. Um I mean they could bomb her or they could chainsaw her. But no, there's no chainsaw, is there? It's loony. Oh, there is a chainsaw. There's a chainsaw and a fanatic, but realistically, they just cannot get the ball off her whatsoever. So, and she can stab people as well. Um, the chef, though, would would take away his rerolls potentially. That is simply not true. The hater does not support your. I do think Zara is better than Deep Root against against uh, goblins. Yeah. Strength fall bludger, like what do they even do? What do they what do they fucking even do against her? Just nothing. She three dices with block every turn. And uh, or she stabs if she has to. Puggy's good. Could get Puggy and a wizard, I guess. Uh Puggy and a Puggy in the uh I guess Puggy's good enough, isn't he? Fuck it. Puggy's good enough. And then I get the uh chef. And uh like Zara's fucking amazing, but to be fair, yeah, Puggy's good enough against against them little shitheads, isn't he? And then a Bloodwiser babe. Because the chef is good. To be fair, to be fair, he's got no. They've got no block, so even taken taken one reroll, it's not great. But if they take two, it's amazing. And I've only got two rerolls, I think, with this team. Yeah, but so could Zara, couldn't he? There's no bomber. But yeah, they could saw her. They could saw her. That's it, though. It's not easy to chainsaw Puggy, unless I'm stupid. Um, but it's but it's possible. It's possible that I'll be stupid. Puggy. Yeah, the bombers. The bombers are bigger risk because you just can't stop it, can you? Yeah. Chainsaw. I, I hate. Ch I think chainsaws are crap. I think that's fair enough. Like, if you're like, you know, a thousand TV down, um, or obviously you just get lucky. Oh, zero. Fucking. Fucking a. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think swords are a bit shit. Sage seems to love swords. I don't know if he's just saying it to be popular. You know, I don't know if he actually believes that chainsaws are good. But he always says, like, chainsaws are really amazing. And it's like, is he just saying that to score points? Or does he actually think they're good? Because I think they're shit. But, you know, if you're a thousand TV down, yeah, you can get lucky. You can get lucky with chainsaws, but I fucking hate them. Combat here. Yeah. Combat. Combat bunny. <laughs> oh, God. That's pretty great. Get the ref, man, lucky bastard. Lucky bastard gets the ref. Hmm, 
maybe we should have put. Oh, got him. I'll guess a few things for Ibu and I'll just use a few teams because why not? That's the thing, isn't it? Why not? They already start off fully developed. You don't need to play loads of games to make them good. Right, let's stand for that. Let's still stand for that. Only two reloads is shit, isn't it? Well, it, it, that's so annoying that, oh god, he might foul, might he? Maybe I shouldn't have stood for him. But I thought I want to be, I want to be basing the troll when I stand up. Yeah, he's a bit of a, a bit of a mad cunt, isn't he? And only two dice blocks as well, not even three dice. Oh man, I wish I. Imagine if I'd you stolen three rerolls and he was just out of rerolls on turn one and I had five. GF5 without a reroll? Wow. Come on, one on the chainsaw, please. Lumber strawberry. <laughs> right, so I can't minus two dice him. Could three dice him, and then if I power him, make one dodge. Or two dodges, two dice the ball. The only bad thing is I'd be giving up a troll block. I guess I don't want to be giving up a troll block. Stun the troll. Good. So he'd be. What's this? Three dodges for the assist. Or I could just puggy it, but puggy would have to double GFI. With Lona. I guess puggy could minus two. No, I'd be, I can't get an assist at all. It would be minus three. Puggy, puggy can just blitz this one, I guess. With this one, I'd like to keep him central so he can, uh, he can go anywhere. Could have two dice the ball, but it's a lot of rolls, isn't it? It's turn it's turn two. I've only got two re rolls. Don't wanna go crazy. Shake so bad. Puggy's in range now, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, no one gear. Uh oh. I 
change it to two out of three. Oh, bang done. What a win. Come on, get sent off or kick back or something. So if the tree stands up, I could go for a... I could go for Puggy on the saw. No, okay, just stand him up. Puggy could go for the ball here. No, no, he can't because of him. But before him... Nah, it's still not... It's still crazy to go for it. You can three dice him. You can minus two dice him. Yeah. Three dice here first. Four for him. Is that a GFI? <gasps> God, awful. Awful stuff. Looks okay to me. Get banged on. <laughs> well, if you'd gone forward, you'd have given up a two dice on the uh, on the fanatic, wouldn't he? Oh, he activated his troll isolated. Brilliant. I mean, I know I was very lucky there getting the double power, but would you know it wasn't that crazy? It was twenty five percent because I would obviously both down is no problem, is it against the uh, fanatic? So chainsaw's getting three diced if he doesn't uh, if he doesn't break an armor. Oh wow. That's what that's why I don't really like sawing trees. <laughs> he doesn't have dodge. So Almost certainly going to get wrecked by the tree. Of course, doesn't.
Base the ball. Gotta base the ball. Of course. Base him. And then Puggy can blitz the chainsaw. Would have obviously rather powered him and then hit the ball, but never mind. Gotta take out the chainsaw. And get to the book. Herp, derp. Base, base, base. <laughs> this won't fail. I'm on the rig. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Basing doesn't look so bad, does it? I want to put guys in the way so he can't activate his troll easily. Puggy is the ultimate sweeper in this matchup with Block. Good contact. I can't say anything enough to turn off skills. And the only one with any development is Puggy, isn't it? And all goblins are the same now. Now that the chainsaw and the thing, he does have the, he, do, he did get the uh, bribe though, so he might keep one. Lucky dingo. Caging normally, isn't he? Which uh, is not really the play against stunties, especially when they've got a, a strength three stunt block. I mean, I could just three dice him and then get in for, to the ball, but I just want to hurt his tree, don't I? I want to hurt his troll, don't I? Oh, should have pushed in there, bad, bad square in the basement. And if I get a pow here, then it can be three dice on the ball. No, oh, it didn't need to be a pow, did it? Didn't even need to be a pow. With block. Good lad, Puggy. That was such a bad push square. Holy shit. Just leave him on him. That's fine. I mean, I won't block him, obviously. That's what I meant. Obviously, I can't move him, but that was a horrible push direction. Holy shit. But I mean, at least the troll can't do much, I guess. He's only going to hit. He's only going to hit a tree with no assists. Both down no balls. Right, good. 
middle card next to the bribe. It's uh, fame. It's fame. They now, now fame is now displayed. Um, nothing comes up, but yeah, that's the fame. So I've got one fame. One babe. Babe's show up now. One babe. One fame. One bribe. Yeah, flings have better big guys. That's pretty much it. It's um, it's a rough matchup for. It's a rough matchup this for halflings, and uh, and they've got the chef, haven't they? Obviously the chef. But yeah, the the the, the trees dominate the trolls. But halflings are just so much worse than goblins. That's the problem. Um, but yeah, they they get they get the fucking stars, don't they? Potentially with uh, with and the chef, the chef can get lucky, you know. If the chef had stolen three rerolls, this wouldn't be looking that bad now, would it? But the main thing is star players and uh, yeah, star players and trees dominate trolls. The chef got zero here, which is obviously shit. But if it had got three, it would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Oh, I've got to choose. <laughs> I, just, I, I always wait when it, when they've used a reroll, uh, but it's, you know, even though it's my turn. Right, I guess I don't feel the big feel. Don't need to feel so bad about the uh, one push square now. Because he would have been able to help me with any Yeah, no longer is pretty good to be TBH. Safe moves first. Go on, puggy. Got him. Having a block guy in this matchup is pretty massive, <laughs> to be fair. No, I could have blitzed here, but there's nowhere else to go anyway. Oh, I should have pushed him there. Well, no, to be fair, I wanted to keep him away. I could blitz this guy, except I've done all my safe moves first. So if I hadn't, uh, if I hadn't moved that, well, no, I had to do everything. Could have blitzed him, though, and then he couldn't have stood the troll up. But then what did he even do? The troll standing up just gets the troll fucking knocked down again. So... Yeah, Puggy is actually pretty sick, yeah. Yeah, I've got the standing upgrade. It's just... Just wasn't at home. Uh oh, now he's going to two dice with a troll. But even then, even if he does two dice with a troll, it unroots the it unroots the tree, and takes three of his players to do it, doesn't it? Yeah, Fluffy Brie. Oh, I'm playing all the teams. Playing all the teams, believe it or not. Zara's boss against everyone, isn't she? Four. Strength four Blodger is uh, is definitely one of the best stars. Nice going to blitz for that one. Push back, very good.
Oh, I've got this. I've got to stand firm, haven't I? Because I'm rooted. <laughs> Shit. Right, obviously, Puggy's gonna blitz. Come so we can do all the safe moves first. Puggy just fucking tearing it up. Might just three dice him there. Because the troll ain't doing fuck. He ain't gonna do nothing. You do nothing. You can just stand up and punch this goblin, eh? Push him away from the troll. Seems reasonable. Yeah, um... Halflings taught me a lot about positioning without ever using them. Because, uh... There's a guy called Circular Logic on Fumble who's a very good coach and he uh, he won loads of games with goblins uh, uh, with halflings and I was like watching his replays or his live games and it just dawned on me that um, he didn't even say it or anything but it just dawned on me that if a halfling isn't in a tackle zone he's like exactly the same as a fucking chaos warrior or whatever isn't he like you know um That's the thing, isn't it? Like, you know, these these two guys here protecting the ball. Well, he's got one turn, so he can't actually reach, reach me, so I don't need to protect the ball. But if I was protecting the ball, these three, so they can't they can't do anything. Um, circular logic, the, like the magic card. Um, you know, if these three were Chaos Warriors. These four could all be Chaos Warriors, couldn't they? I mean, it just doesn't matter. Well, okay, then, but the ones screening and stuff, and the ones assisting and all this kind of shit, could just be Chaos Warriors, and they would be essentially the same. And I always thought that was interesting. Could foul this guy, eh? With three, three reserves. Maybe it's a better value to foul a goblin, but could three dice him and get away from the troll. I can't I'm fucking root it, dickhead. Um, Zed is. Uh, Said his shit. <laughs> okay, that's 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 unfair. But he plays in ranked, and he only plays against things that don't mean him being wrong. So exactly, Scotty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is fair enough. I mean, it's fair enough. You know, he's playing fucking halflings. He doesn't want to go through the torture of fighting a tackle pommer every game. 
you know, it, let's be honest, it's no fun if you're a, gobble, a halfling playing against tackle pommers. But, um, yeah, I should have just hit the troll. It, it, I, I was thinking I was going to follow up to not get punched by a troll. Now, his foul is nowhere near as good as mine because he, he hasn't got the reserves, has he? So his is a bit of a silly one because he could have got sent off there. But, uh, oh, I've got a bribe. I should have been fouling every turn. <laughs> oh, well. Never mind. I was just thinking he had the bribe for his... Uh... I was just thinking he had the bribe for his... Um... Fucking... Secret weapons, but I should have been fouling every turn. It's harder though, isn't it, when you're protecting the ball, to be fair. But I should have done some fouls. Fucking hell. <laughs> Puggy. Puggy just fucking banging on his whole team. Ooh, no touchdown for him. Oh, he's got the goblin head, has he? Also, because we're at home, we're using the ref's head ball. Because, so that's what it is. So I guess that's what it is. I should have, um... Yeah, they fixed it. I just did it. I just did it for fun. <laughs> oh, so now he knows the soul came back, so he can use his, uh... His bribe on the soul. Um, it was pref it was for pref for preference. Fluffy burrito, burrito. Oh, he, he got sent off anyway. <laughs> he rolled the one on the bribe. Eh? Oh no, the other one got sent off. Okay. So how many has he got? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But the fucking bribe got him. No, there's only there's only human dwarves. I should have had dwarves, shouldn't I? I should have had dwarves. He only human dwarves and orcs. You actually prefer the rogue start just because it gives you a bit of strength and and obviously if people are worrying about the uh, if people are worrying about the oh god, I'm gonna try and speak English here. It's gonna be tough. So bear with me. If people are worrying about the rat ogre, they're not worrying about your gutter runners and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah fudge nipples. That was that was brutal, wasn't it? That was brutal. Um, hello, Robocop. Wow, blast from the past, Robocop. Um. Yeah, the piece is great, isn't it? I'm having fun. I have. I don't throw much, to be honest. I don't throw much. Um. I think I'm just gonna blitz with Puggy. Uh. So I think that's okay. Starting there. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, a rogue is different, Fruity Bun. A rogue is different because um, because against, uh, you know, there's nothing else to pick for a rogue, is there? Like guard or, or jugs is all he can get. I don't like jugs for a beast man because he could take block. Or, you know, like that's the thing. That's the thing. Ah, right, fair enough, rogue. Um, yeah, the rogue has frenzy. The ogre has frenzy, and he just can't get block. I mean, if he could get block on normals, I wouldn't consider juggernaut for him. You know, that that that's the key thing. I wouldn't dream of taking uh, juggernaut on him if he could take block. Oh, I stole two rerolls. That's better. Oh, I've got five now. All right. I didn't. I don't think I used any rerolls the first half. <laughs> And now I've got five. So I can re-roll roots. Happy days. OK. 
Okay, so I do want to protect him. Do want to protect the ball. One, two, three, four, five. He can protect it too. This is good enough, I think. dodge through harder. Me bother. Uh, I fouled with the tree. Yeah, I fouled. I fouled with a with a wood elf tree, and I fouled with this one before. Yeah, the foul is amazing, isn't it? See, seen the wood, seen the tree foul quite a lot. Trolls in a goblin team, yeah, that's it's fair enough because they can get taken out again. Mm. GFI to hit him might be worth it. It's a massive stomp. Yeah. It's a massive, brutal, life-ending stomp. It looks amazing to be honest. Puggy Blitz. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. Well, that's a bit shit. Oh, he hasn't got block. <gasps> He hasn't got dodge. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I re-rolled it. I didn't need to. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh, that was really bad. Oh my god. Yeah, just because I'm bad at Blood Bowl. Only reason. Oh, that was fucking horrible. Nah, I've made it before. I'll make it again. I knew he didn't have dodge, that's why I was going for him, you know? And then I just did it wrong. Two, three, four, five. Get him in as well. If I put him there, no. It's just because I had lords as well, that was, that was part of it. If I didn't have loads of rerolls, I wouldn't have uh, tried it. But because I had loads of rerolls, I was like, "Yeah, I can reroll this." Oh, it was so dumb. I could have been pleasantly surprised if I hadn't rerolled it. <laughs> if I didn't have the rerolls, I would have just been pleasantly surprised. But I know they don't have fucking dodge. Holy shit, that was so bad. But yeah, I haven't seen two head gobbles yet. No. Oh fucking hell! Fucking hell, that was dumb. After not using any rerolls in the first half, used two in the first two turns here. One that wasn't there. Oh, that was so bad. Why did I think that he didn't have dodge? That's crazy, isn't it? Fucking crazy. Horrible. Horrible reroll. Oh shit, he's just gone for the throws. Yeah, Skaven are a million times better than Underworld. But, um, you know, Underworld have got the fun factor, haven't they? Yeah, Skaven, Skaven are way better. It's not even, you can't compare Skaven to Underworld, to be fair.
You can do that, yeah, you can you can go gold. You can just have a Skaven, a Skaven team, but with four blitzers, two of them being super blitzers. Looking crazy. Ah, the way they look in the game, yeah, fair enough. Three, four, five, six, can easy two dice this guy. Just bang on him. Puggy's just fucking killing him. <laughs> Single-handedly. <laughs> Single-handedly winning the match, Puggy. Fucking hell. Uh, yeah, okay, you can... You can... Uh, fuck it. Oh yeah, well, one Underworld Troll. You only get one, but yeah, you could have the Underworld Troll. But it just changes the dynamic of Skaven, doesn't it, if you've got a troll there. But yeah, I mean, I would, I would probably have the troll, to be fair. I blitz with this one, eh? That's why I shouldn't have. But he's he's okay. He's rooted in a in a fine place. To be fair. All right, dodge gone. If I hadn't used my dodge, I would have uh, dodged through and fouled him. But uh, I'll just go there. Nah, war dancers are amazing from rookie, definitely. Yeah, war dancers are just you, they're, they're far and away the best. You can't you can't even you can't even the war dancers just hands down the best. Like they've they sure they've got sidestep tackle strip ball. So they need the four four normals to slightly lose a bit of value. But they're still amazing. Yeah, Puggy just won that by himself. He deserves to get one of the MVPs from it. He didn't know. No, oh, random B Bungo Harry Twinkle Toes got it. 14 AV breaks. Wow. 31 blocks to 14. Um, Puggy got two cars, including a troll. <laughs> the Duck and Terrors. See, 75% take roots. That's much more That's much more like my rolls than, than the other guy who had halflings. Four out, four out of seven dodges. Um, twice as many ones as sixes. But block dice, puggy, both down, pow, both down. Both down, both down, pow, both down, pow, both down. <laughs> BM reroll for no reason, just because I'm stupid. It was actually a pow, because it was a chainsaw. And then a pow when he hit the air. Uh, so he got a knockdown every single block. Every turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. I think we played 11 turns. I just think he got a knockdown every single turn. Pretty good value. Um, there, from uh, Puggy. What a, what a fucking man. Halfling, even. Half man. Uh, yeah, it was the BM Lona reroll, yeah. He <laughs> absolutely run riot. Uh, I guess sidestep, there's nothing else to take except sidestep is there. I guess maybe sheer feet or something, but let's go sidestep. It's all I can take for halflings. Um, yeah, it was definitely. I, if if I hadn't stolen that reroll, I wouldn't have rerolled it, and I would have just been like, "Oh well, I didn't get to knock him down," and then I would have been pleasantly surprised. So um, 
Right, that's good, isn't it? Two and all, two and all for the flings. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.